Hello, today I'm going to be walking you through the process of creating a webhook on the Ventana platform. So starting from the dashboard of my organization, I'm going to come down here to manage. And then in the options presented, I'm going to go to webhooks. And the first time that you arrive here, you'll be presented with this webhook creation form. So I want to walk you through the different parameters that it asks for. So first it asks for the name, which of course is just the name of your webhook used as an identifier. I'm just going to call mine webhook demo. Next, it'll ask for your URL. This is the URL to an endpoint of your creation and is where the webhook will send the data when one of the events it is subscribed to has fired. So I'm going to enter my URL there that I'm using. Next, we have description. This is an optional parameter and just very simply acts as a describer of what the webhook is intended to do. Then you have folders. You can add as many folders as you want. I'm just going to add one for now. But if you would like to add all folders, just leave this parameter blank. Then we have our events. There are three categories, product, folder, and user. So for the purpose of this demo, we're just going to do three product ones. So I'm going to start with product added, which will fire when a new product is added to the folder or folders that you have subscribed this webhook to. Then there's product completed. This one will fire when a product that has been added finishes the optimization process. And then there is product deleted, which of course will fire when a product has been deleted from the folder or folders that the webhook monitors. Then we have only one folder related event, client added, which will fire when a new folder has been created within the organization and then two user-based ones. So user added and user revoked, which of course will fire when a new user has been invited and added to the organization or a user has been removed. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And you can see the three events we subscribe to show up down here now. So with everything looking correct, I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Now you can see the webhook that we just created here with the name that we added. The status here, this is currently enabled, meaning that it is monitoring that folder I added for the three events that we subscribe to. You can click this button here to edit any of the information and this button to delete it. And if you press the caret there, you can see all the information for the webhook, including the secret. This is used by you and your endpoint to validate the signature that comes along with the payload. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that and add it to my test script that I'm using. And then I'm going to go ahead and start it. I'm just running a very simple Flask app. So now I have my webhook enabled here. You can disable it if you would like, but it's currently enabled. And I have my Flask app running, which is monitoring the endpoint that I entered for those three events that we subscribe to. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into that folder that we set it to monitor, and I'm going to add a product. Okay, so I'm gonna add a product. I'm gonna add this Ventana Joggers product here. I'm just going to call it Webhook Demo, and I'm gonna add Joggers to that. And I'm just gonna select a random pipeline. I'm gonna turn off any optimize, advanced optimization settings just for the sake of having it optimize a little bit faster. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create and publish that. All right, and that's been created. And as you can see over here in the terminal, we have a webhook event that fired product.added, the organization UUID, client UUID, and then the name of the product that I just added. Now we will wait for the optimization process to finish. That is going to take a little bit, so the video is gonna skip ahead to that point. Okay, and as you can see, the product has completed, and we just received a message here for the webhook event product completed with the same organization UUID and client UUID and for the same product name. So the final uh, event that we subscribed to was the product deleted, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete the product we just created and optimized. And there you go, as you can see, we got another event in the terminal there, product deleted with the same information. That about does it for the demo on creating webhooks. For more information, as I said, you can go to the resources page, ventana.com slash resources, where we have quite a few different guides on various aspects of our API and platform, including our new webhooks feature.